Hello everybody, welcome back again to another media book update. Uh, likely to be the last one for the uh, month of October. Um, feeling a bit under the weather recently, so not in the best of health. Got a back injury and a shoulder injury as well, so I'm feeling a bit run down. So I'll try and get through these ones quick. Uh, so yeah, five to show you here. And we'll start with a, a pretty cool remake, I thought. And that's of the uh, My Bloody Valentine 3D. Uh, which I think came out in 2008, and I rem remember this one being very good. Uh, a lot better than I expected it to be. Uh, so I, I had uh, no issues um, splashing out on a nice media book edition of this one. This is from 84 Entertainment, and they've given it a nice, luxurious, padded media book. And it's, uh, yeah, it's deserving of such a release, I think, for me. And it's uh, the only film I've ever watched in 3D, and um, usually I, my head can't really take it. Um, it brings on terrible headaches, and uh, just I don't have the eyes for it. Um, but yeah, this one I, I persevered with, and I was rewarded with some pretty cool uh, eye-popping moments of gore in this one. There's some really good kills in this. A bit of a, a bit of a sleazy, gory little film. No, not not a patch on the original. The original is a fantastic film. Uh, really is deserving of a, a re-release. That one. Um, I know the Blu-ray is long out of print now, um, which I do have, luckily. And that's a great film. But um, yeah, here we have the uh, remake. And it's worth your attention if you haven't seen it already. If you're into your slashes and you don't mind the odd remake now and then, uh, this one will uh, should satisfy your needs if you're in for a bit of uh, uh, a bit of blood and gore and a bit of uh, a high body count. A uh, good bit of fun, this one. So yeah, like I say, this is the uh, new media book release from 84 Entertainment. It just comes in its uh, slip box here. It's just a repack of the already available... Um, Blu-ray disc. Let me just give you a quick uh, close-up glimpse of the uh, the specs there. You do get the uh, 3D version and the standard 2D version on Blu-ray, and it is a uh, real 3D as well. So you will need a 3D enabled TV. So there you go. There's the little slip box, and here is the, uh, the actual media book itself. Out of it, pretty nice looking cover. There's your 3D disc and your 2D copy as well, just in case you're not 3D enabled yet. And there's a DVD copy as well. And about all oh, about 20 pages on the inside. So yeah, like I say, good bit of fun this. I'll probably give this one a watch over the Halloween period as well, because it's been a, a couple of years since I've seen it. So there you go, that is the uh, new My Bloody Valentine 3D padded media book from 84 Entertainment. I'm not sure how many it's limited to, it might be 333 copies but it's not numbered. Uh, usually 84 Entertainment, they usually number their releases but not on this occasion, but I think it's 333. Uh, still available but they are going fast. Right, next up we have another nice luxurious padded media book from 84 Entertainment. And this is for the uh, sci-fi action classic, The Terminator. Uh, brilliant film, this one. Uh, needs no introdu introduction. Uh, pretty much everybody's seen this one. It's a genuine favourite of mine. But having said that, I still prefer part two. But this is a great film. And, uh, yeah, like I say, 84 Entertainment, knocking out these lovely padded media books. Um, just up the artwork, um, just to make it their own. Of course, it's a, a very familiar image we've seen before. But this one, it's just been jazzed up. It's got like a hand-drawn effect to it. Uh, pretty nice. And uh, yeah, hopefully it contains the uh, new restored 4K transfer, which um, I never got around to picking up. That that remastered Blu-ray from a couple of years back. Um, I still have my old uh, US Digibook from a few years ago. So uh, it did need an upgrade, and this one come along and absolutely had to grab this one, especially as 84 Entertainment put out Part 2 not, 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 not too long ago. So it's nice to have the uh, the pair of these uh, nice padded padded uh, media books together. A pair of great films. There's the back there. Let me just give you a close up glimpse of the uh, extras. Like I say, nothing new here, content wise. It's just a repack, I would imagine. Hopefully, of that remastered 4K transfer. 
So once again it comes in it's a little slip box there. And here's the media bit, got a bit of foil finish on the uh, title there. And a nice padded media book. Once again, there's a the spine. And the back. Pretty nice image on the back as well. Fantastic cover. And you get about 24 pages on the inside. There's a Blu ray disc. And a DVD. And tons of uh, images on the inside. Got some figures there from NECA. Pretty nice job on these ones they did. I haven't grabbed any of these yet, just don't have space for them. But NECA are usually reliable with their figures. Got a few alien ones from them. All the text in here will be in German. Of course, with it being, with it being a German release. So there you go, the fantastic Terminator. Um, I'd welcome a, a media book of part three. I thought part three was fantastic, actually. Anyway, moving on. Next up, uh, something completely different. This is the uh, the movie called Survive from 1976, I believe. This is a, a new German media book from ooh, M Square Classics, um, who've recently come out on the scene with... Uh, media books of their own um, fairly bare bones stuff from this label but you get movies on blu-ray here that you can't get in the UK yet and uh, this is one of them I don't even think this one's hit uh, DVD over here and it's based on the true story of the uh, Uruguayan plane crash uh, which oh I think it happened in the 70s 72 it crashed in the Andes and uh, the survivors had to resort to cannibalism to survive the ordeal um, it was made into a film in 1993 called Alive, which is a great film. I'd, I'd love that one on Blu-ray as well. But this is a, a Mexican-made movie. Uh, it must be quite grisly in place. It's a bit exploitative. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm just going, going by what I've heard on reviews of it. But certainly one that's intrigued me over the years, and I've wanted to check it out, because I've read the book on the story as well. And, uh, yeah. And you get two cuts of the movie on this release. You get the, uh, the shorter international cut on the Blu-ray disc, and you also get the longer Mexican version, um, which is in full frame on DVD, and it's I think it's from a VHS source, so it's not the best quality, but it it contains about 20 minutes more footage over the uh, international release, uh, which is on the Blu-ray disc. So it's nice to have, to have the option of the uh, both cuts here. There's the back of the media book. And here's the uh, specs here. Despite what it says here, the, the movie is English friendly. Um, on the uh, the shorter version of the movie, you, you get the option to watch it in English or in German. And the longer version on DVD, you get to uh, watch the movie with the English subtitles. So uh, it is English friendly, just so you know. But no special features here. Nothing sub substantial anyway, just a image gallery I think. So yeah, let's give you a look on the inside. There's a Blu-ray disc there. And a DVD. And there, just the old US poster there. Uh, yeah, pretty horrific uh, story, this one. What they had to go through. There was a, a crisis of conscience among the survivors because they're quite strict Catholics. Not everybody was uh, too thrilled at their um, methods of survival. We're sworn into eating the, the, uh, the dead passengers of the plane crash in order to survive but um, you know you never know what you're capable of until you're in, in, a, in a situation like that so I'm not gonna be so quick to judge them but yeah a, a morbidly fascinating story so I'm looking forward to ch checking this one out so that is uh, Survive from 1976 right next up bit of Hammer Horror now we have uh, another addition to ESC's British Terrors range with the Gorgon from 1964. Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, Barbara Shelley, uh, Terence Fisher directs uh, What Could Go Wrong. Uh, should be a pretty good film. I haven't seen it yet, but it's one that's always been on the radar. So, very intrigued to check this one out. I'll save this one for a Halloween view indefinitely. And it's been given a, a, a nice Blu ray media book here. This is a French label, by the way, ESC. 
putting out some great stuff recently and this one's uh looks to be no different uh usually uh, a stellar job from these guys so far from what i've uh, watched of their stuff and uh hopefully the film delivers there's the back cover there it is english friendly and usually with this label the uh french subtitles are removable from the english uh, audio track uh some minor special features but they're all going to be in french There's the technical specs there. Right, let's give you a quick look on the inside. Focus. There's your Blu-ray disc. And a DVD. And one of the old vintage posters there. All the text will be in French. So there you go. Excellent British cast and uh, very much looking forward to it. So that's the Gorgon from 1964. Right, and last up, we have a fairly new film which I know very little about. And that goes by the name of Perfect Skin, which I think came out last year or uh, earlier this year. Have uh, Richard Brake in this one, who's a great actor, got a very... Uh, sinister looking face he would make a great joker actually he appeared recently in the uh, three from hell movie he was the uh, new addition to the cast and uh, yeah he's in this one as a bad guy as usual and this is the new german media book from uh, this label here which i cannot pronounce it looks like a french french named label but it's a german company uh, it looks a bit of low budget torture porn type stuff but um, hopefully it has something a bit more to offer than that. There's the uh, back cover. Uh, this one is uh, numbered and limited to 3,000. There's the end number down there. So there you go. It comes with a nice size poster as well, actually. Let's see if I can unfold this one. Get it all on camera. There you go, a pretty nice poster. As this label, they usually include a nice size poster with, with their media books. And they're quite affordable as well, to be fair to them, compared to other labels and what they charge. So here's the inside, there's your Blu-ray disc. And a DVD copy. So yeah, it looks to be uh, a bit of a grisly watch, this one. Uh, quite intrigued to see what the uh, story behind it all is. Looks to involve tattoos. We've seen a few horror themed movies with, uh, with tattoos as that make up part of the storyline. So yeah, there you go guys. That is uh, perfect skin. And that is it for this uh, media book update guys. As I say, I've been under the weather recently, so I haven't been as active on YouTube uh, as far as watching videos and commenting. And I uh, have a couple of contest entries I'll be getting out within the next couple of weeks, and uh, hopefully more updates. Um, but yeah, as always guys, thanks a lot for watching and commenting, sub to new subs, much appreciated. Uh, any questions regarding these releases, uh, just leave them below in the comments, or if you know me on Facebook, just leave me a message over there. So until next time guys, you take care of yourselves, thanks for watching, bye for now.